Hey there, I'm Jeff McMullen, and today I want to talk to you about getting really steady, stable shots on a budget. To get steady shots, then it really helps the further you can get your hand away from the lens, because it's all these little micro shakes that your hands do that uh, we want to get rid of. And the easiest way of doing that is, is really just hook your camera to anything. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a bendy tripod. So you've definitely seen these before. Every vlogger has one. They're a really good option because you can leave them attached to your camera most of the time and it gives you a good handle to get your hand further from the lens. So just walking around, you get really stable shots. And then when it comes time to do a time lapse or, you know, set up the camera somewhere to talk to it like this, then there's really, uh, it's, it's super easy and convenient to be able to bend all the legs around if you're on uneven terrain. Or, you know, it can be cool to wrap the tripod around like a tree limb or something. So crazy convenient. That's why they're so popular is, you know, they're really cheap. Like um, the one I use was I think 12 or $15 on AliExpress. Um, just, just go there and look up bendy tripod. But if you want to use it for a DSLR or mirrorless size camera, like I have, then definitely make sure it says like giant or the largest one you can get on AliExpress. And it's, it's not that big. They're still, uh, they're still smaller than the hundred dollar ones from Amazon. So I have one of those ones that looks like a knockoff of the Joby gorilla pod ones and they're really cheap, but I don't recommend those because they wear out and they stop holding themselves up very well and the legs start coming apart and you have to keep putting them back together. They're really not good. So this one that I have, it still grips really well if you want to wrap it around something, but they have a metal core in the leg that's just bendable metal. I spent a lot of money on this camera that I'm filming on, so I don't really trust it on one of those um, little crappy knockoff Joby ones that are the black and white or whatever. So, but this one I do trust. I've had two of them and I haven't had any problems with them. The foam does kind of start to wear out and cracks, probably because I got this one wet, but um, it doesn't affect how well it's going to hold the camera. So um, metal, metal legged ones that you can bend around are a really good way to go. And they're still only 12 or $15 for this size of one. You can actually pair a bendy tripod with this next one I'm going to talk about, but you may choose to just start out with this one because it's really simple. It gives you a few added features, especially if you're filming with a smartphone or something, and they're still crazy cheap. Like I think this was like five bucks. So. Um, this is a L bracket they're called and as you can see I have a microphone mounted on here so you mount a microphone and this microphone is the one that works on my cell phone or a camera so it's got a nice rubber grip it's sturdy metal and uh, then this is adjustable you can slide this little thing to where whatever you're mounting um, really quick I'm gonna show you so these this is a little phone holder thing um, they're, they're just cheap plastic and whatever, but for the, they're plenty strong to hold a phone pretty securely. And they're like a dollar or two on AliExpress. You can just mount them like this. And then if I had a phone, my phone just broke, but uh, you could mount your phone in here. You could put a microphone or something on this bracket and a light on the other one or whatever you want to do. It makes it a lot easier to hold on to your phone and everything and get really steady shots going around all smooth like this. So. Definitely a, a nice one here for $5. The other cool thing about them, on lots of them, including this one, you can mount a tripod in the bottom of it, and then you can have it set up like this one that I showed you guys the other day, this little basic vlogging setup. So it's a really good option, holds, solves a lot of your problems, gets you really steady footage, and holds your microphones and everything you need, you know, and so a lot of uh, versatility here as far as upgrading and attaching different things. Next one we're gonna talk about is a little bit simpler one. Um, depending on what you're using, then maybe something like a little selfie stick. So you'll be surprised how much, um, just with a GoPro or your phone, how much this, uh, just this, not even like using it as a selfie stick, just as a handle, will stabilize your footage. Cause you can hold your hand a lot more steady like this than like, you know, like this. If you're filming with a GoPro at all, you never really wanna be hand holding it. If you're filming with a phone, it's, you can sometimes get away with hand holding it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Really cool option here. Um, and these are a couple bucks, like less than five bucks for a half decent one. Now this one's no uh, big wow factor for any of you. It's just regular tripod, um, you know, and they have them a little nicer than this. They have the ball head that you can move all around, but uh, this is a really sturdy, heavy tripod that I use a lot for time lapses and everything because your time lapses will blow around in the wind on a littler tripod a lot of the time. So a big heavy tripod's good for that, but 
far as carrying it around, it sucks. And even just bringing it with me, depending on the shoot, can suck. But uh, definitely uh, look into a nice tripod if you think that's something that'd help you filming whatever you're filming. So for vlogging, maybe not, but if you're doing stuff like this, big nice tripod like that's a good option. So the next option's uh, set up for what, you know, they'd call like a run and gun setup. So it's actually right here. So this is, uh, and I have this all stripped down because I wanted it lighter and easier, but this is just a shoulder mount. So I'd take that camera, mount it right here, and then that's it's crazy stable. I filmed for like the first year or two, year and a half for pretty much everything I've ever done adventure filming. Then we at least bring this and we pretty much always use this as our main setup because it's like, it turns basically your whole body into a tripod. So you can see how just walking around, even if you have shaky hands and everything, then just this three points of contact really stabilizes it a lot. And with these rails and everything, that I have some attachments, but there's all sorts of ways to customize these. You can put all these cages and extra mounts to mount different, you know, an audio recorder and a microphone and lights and all of it. So there's really endless possibilities with something like this. I, I spent like a hundred bucks on it, I think, and it came with a matte box and a follow focus and some other stuff. So they're a pretty cool option depending on what you're filming, but another good option for getting stable shots. So this last one's probably my newest addition to the arsenal of all this crap. Uh, and it's probably my favorite. So it comes with this nice case. Uh, so this is the Zion, Zion Smooth Q. I have never had a problem with this. It has been so amazing and made, <laughs> this thing has made my life so much easier. Uh, I'll just, I'll throw the GoPro on here or my phone or whatever and you can walk around and get crazy stable, smooth, awesome shots with this. And this one, I, I think I paid 140 for it and I think they might have even come down a little in price. So um, that's a, that was when I bought it about half the price of the DJI Osmo and it does pretty much everything the Osmo can do. It has a setting on it where you can have the, you could draw a little box over your face on your phone and have it sitting there keeping it pointed at your face so you don't have to pay attention and frame your shot. That's really awesome. So um, this has, <laughs> I, I've used this so much since I bought it. It's probably my favorite piece of equipment just because it's so easy to use and it looks crazy professional when you use it. So um, these are some of the shots that I've gotten with this and most likely what I'm showing you is the GoPro. I'll also show you a couple different phones using this and uh, um, this worked with, I think it's an iPhone 7 Plus. Um, so it is limited in how big it can hold stuff, but it worked with a 7 Plus. So, you know, if your phone's a little bigger than that, then, uh, you know, maybe like the Note 8 or something. Is that the one that explodes? So depending on how big your phone is, then, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into something bigger, but uh, it did work with a 7 Plus. So if you're that size or smaller, then you're good. Um, so you clip your phone in and you can either hook your phone up to it through Bluetooth and use the smart settings like it can do motion time lapses and it can do, like I said, like object tracking, including your face. Once again, I'd, I'd show you it with my phone, but my phone's in a bag of rice right now. So I'll use this for like getting some really cool cinematic shots or my B roll or something. And uh, I'll mostly just mount the GoPro in it, but you can actually turn this and this thing actually does work uh, filming, I forget how it goes, but you can film in portrait. Yeah, it goes like this. One thing that I found that's really cool is I have the GoPro Hero 6 and I'll just mount it in here sideways, uh, just like that and walk around. And that's, I've seriously, I can't believe the quality of the footage pairing these two. And I leave the stabilization on on the GoPro. I haven't had any problems with them interfering, but um, you know, on some gimbals then it could and in the future maybe I'll stop doing that but for now it's just been dead smooth awesome footage I can't believe the footage that I get out of this and the GoPro so it just it looks like a movie so uh, this one's my most exciting thing we're gonna talk about today um, so it's the Zhiyun Smooth Q um, just look it up on Amazon I don't have affiliate links for any of this so uh, you know if you if you really want a link to any of these they're pretty easy to find so um, you know, L bracket, monopod, or uh, selfie stick, um, phone holder, I think is all I search for that. Um, the other one's a shoulder rig, shoulder mount, um, tripod. 
and smooth Q three axis gimbal. So this thing just, I, I can't, I can't say enough good stuff about this. Oh, and before I forget, um, the battery on this lasts for something like 12 hours or something of use. So I, I've never had it die because I've never, I've never been filming for 12 hours straight. I also am pretty confident most of the time that uh, it's still, uh, it's still got enough charge for anything I want to do. Um, even if I forgot to throw it onto charge and I just have to run out the door in a moment's notice. You can mount the flexible tripod to the bottom of this and then you can do um, motion time lapses where you can tell it, okay, I want you to start up here and then in an hour or something end over here and it'll sit there and do a slow move over there to get a really cool time lapse. So you can mount it with the L bracket. You know, I can have my phone on the gimbal, have the microphone plugged into it. The other thing that I was saying is that the um, smooth, the Smooth Q has that I don't think the DJI Osmo, which is still way more expensive than this, has. You can use this as a battery, as a power pack to power your camera. So if you have a GoPro or a phone or whatever on here, you can have it plugged in and have the microphone plugged in and be using it, getting the stable shots and not worrying about killing your battery or anything like that. So um, this is probably the cheapest gimbal you can get. and. It, I've, I've compared it to a couple other cheap ones and this is by far my favorite. Comes with a nice case and a charging cable and some stuff, uh, but this thing is seriously uh, my favorite piece of stabilization equipment. So thank you all for watching. Um, none of this was paid advertisement or anything. I'm, I'm just trying to show you guys some things that I've found that have really improved my quality, um, I hope, <laughs> and uh, you should see what it looks like without this stuff. So. I hope this has helped you at least know more about what's out there as far as stabilization goes. Um, you know, I've told you bendy tripods, probably a must. The L bracket's really awesome. I can't believe I didn't have one sooner. And the um, Smooth Q gimbal is my favorite thing ever. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.